Right, guys, there are a few more extra bits <laughs> that are really, really important. And um, this button that I somehow missed is probably the most important button when you are loading up a patient's consultation. And this is my consultations. So when I load up a patient, I want to know if I've spoken to that patient before because there's nothing more embarrassing than introducing yourself like, hello, I'm Dr. Michael, one of the GPs. How can we help you? And they're like, oh yeah, I've spoken to you a million times. And then you actually don't remember them. So if you click on my consultations, it will filter out all of your consultations, uh, all of the times that you have actually seen that patient. As you can see, my name is here. And typically I have a way of kind of writing up consultations where I will have the home, I will have the work. And by clicking my consultations, I can quickly kind of go down and see what does this patient do? Who do they live with and so forth? My consultations is super, super useful. If you click on them, you will turn it off. And as you can see, there are other doctors that spoke to Tilly Tester as well. Another thing that is really, really useful is text search. So I use this quite a bit. I want to find out if someone has spoken about the patient's prostate. Uh, they haven't, <laughs> unsurprisingly. Uh, although it doesn't say that Tilly Tester is female, I always kind of think that she's female somehow. Um, but let's see if sp someone spoke to them about their bowel. And yes, uh, someone has. So in 2017, for instance, um, she declined a bowel screen and now she has bowel cancer. Obviously, this is a dummy patient. Um, and she did talk about her bowels in the past and she occasionally had accidents. So um, text search is something that I use a lot and I really, really love text search. So my consultations and text search, those are two little tips that I still wanted to show you. There's actually one more. <laughs> I'm gonna add this consultation and show you something that I was completely shocked by when I came across. If you want to put down someone's weight, EMIS will typically use kilograms. Patients will typically not used to kilograms. And so someone will tell me that they're 11 stone five. And I'm like, I don't know what 11 stone five is in kgs. But if you put in 11 stone five, it will convert it for you into kgs. And the same thing goes for height. Uh, crazily enough, if they say they're, they're five foot four, for instance, if I have their weight and their height, it will prompt me to cal calculate their BMI, which is just fantastic, to be honest. Click yes. And there it is. Now they already calculated the um, BMI from the previous weight. Uh, there's some information here that this patient has gained 27% from her previous reading. Gosh. So that's maybe something that you want to have a chat with the patient about. Uh, finally, there's one more thing. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but if you click on add and you click on this little arrow, rather than adding a straightforward consultation, you can choose to add um, other things like add documents, which we're going to talk about, test request, rather than going through a blank consultation. I promise that is probably the last thing that I'm going to tell you. Uh, unless I remember something, I'll add it in in another video. See you soon.